when you were at Jump and you first were incubating Wormhole, why did you come up with the idea? What was the problem that you saw in the blockchain space that you wanted to solve? Yeah, so definitely, I can't I can't take credit for coming up with the idea of Wormhole. There was a we had a core core group of of engineers uh, who originally actually kind of came up with the idea of connecting Solana to Ethereum at at the asset level. I'll get into kind of how we think about levels, but I think the thesis at the time was interoperability is extremely important if crypto ever wants to work or become mainstream. And I'll explain why. So we'll you'll probably hear on this segment like we talk about this term interoperability. It's like a long word, but really it just means two systems operating with one another, right? Like working together. It's nothing new. So when we think about the banking systems, right? Banking systems are these like closed systems and they need a way to communicate with one another. Like if I wire money to someone who has a different bank, you know, how, how does that happen? It happens via via communication network. That network is called SWIFT. SWIFT helps these banks interoperate. Cloud compute needs a way for their servers to interoperate. We're taking this like high level concept and applying it to blockchains. Blockchains, a lot of people will simplify them almost as like databases and ledgers, you know, with these virtual machines you can put on top and then build applications, right? But they don't talk to each other. Solana and Ethereum are kind of these closed environments. They don't know what goes on on the other one. They have no knowledge of this. And so Wormhole, it's ori- like the original idea was, hey, Solana is gaining a lot of traction. Ethereum, you know, has a good amount of traction. How do we connect these two? Like you, at the time you could not send, you could not send assets between the two. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of the original impetus of, well, the problem we're solving here is like, if I want to send my money or my tokens on Ethereum to Solana, how do I do that? And so that's, that was kind of the original like problem to be solved. Fast forward today, we're across 30 plus blockchains, tons of different applications are now built on top of Wormhole. But I think it's important to kind of like at least go back, frame the idea, frame interoperability from not just a crypto perspective. And yeah, that's kind of the how things were originally started. Just to give some context here, because as you said, there was a group of people that initially came up for the idea for Wormhole. And now we have Wormhole Foundation, which you are one of the co-founders of. Can you sort of give us a, a map or an explanation of how Wormhole and Wormhole Foundation work together so we every, everybody has clarity on that throughout the episode? Absolutely. So within, within I think, the crypto space, Web3 space in general, you'll see this very like uh, common model. So Wormhole, I would think about it similarly to like Ethereum. Ethereum is a protocol. There's no one that actually works for Ethereum. And that's by design. So for Wormhole, there's no one that works for Wormhole. There are teams that contribute to the open source code that Wormhole is. Not a lot of projects are open source, by the way. Well, not a lot of interoperability protocols. But the Wormhole Foundation is just one of, technically anyone could come along and contribute to Wormhole, first of all. But the Wormhole Foundation is probably the main kind of contributing entity to Wormhole. We then have Wormhole Labs, X Labs, and then there's other kind of developer shops, zero knowledge uh, developer shops that contribute to the kind of broader wormhole stack. And the way I would think about this is, is the Wormhole Foundation does everything from marketing, community, BD, research, security, uh, and the list goes on. But we are like a, a minimal contributor when it comes to actually the building the, the code or the core protocol code, if you will. Mm-hmm. A lot of that will come from Wormhole Labs. A lot of that will come to X from X Labs. And that's by design. You kind of separate these things out, different parts of the world, et cetera. That's how I would think about it today. And a lot of people would would kind of view a lot of foundations, right? Think about the Ethereum Foundation is very similar to Wormhole Foundation. We're stewards of the protocol. So our job is to make sure Wormhole continues to grow in a secure and a decentralized way. 